singing over the city. Nashville. Good morning, viewers. The Lord bless you. You are welcome to the platform of Redemption Television, Open Heaven. This morning, we are going to be looking at the Word of God. You need the anointing. Let us pray. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Almighty God, we just want to bless your holy name. Ancient of days, we lift up your holy name because there is no one like you. We thank you, God, for the grace to sleep in peace and the grace to wake up in peace. Thank you, Lord, because you are the one that watched over us even while we slept. Because you neither sleep nor slumber. That is why we have assurance in you that you are always there for us. To keep us, to save us, to promote us, to enlarge our coast, and to fulfill the purpose at which we are created. Be, Lord God, those things that you have instilled in us, those things that you have put in us, you are the one that enhance our speed so that they can come to fulf fulfillment. Father, we see be that we exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord of mercy, as we look into your word this morning, the anointing that we need to fulfill our calling, our destiny, our purpose, to walk through this life and, Lord, end up with fulfillment of purpose. Father, give unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let this word of liberty Deliver power to your children to enhance their speed. Thank you because of the Lord. For in Jesus' precious name, we are praying. God bless you. You need the anointing. You need the anointing. Without the anointing, you cannot fulfill your purpose. The anointing of God is the power of God. Is the enablement of God. Is the energizer that makes you an extraordinary man. That makes you a supernatural man. You need the anointing. There's no one that have contacted the anointing and ended up with failure. No way. Gehazi. Father, my, you, he, he looked at the anointing. He took away his and he ended up a miserable man. The man that is called Jabez contacted the anointing. Though he looked... He looked at himself. He knew that his life was a failure. But when he contacted the mighty hand of the Lord, the anointing of God came upon him. The mighty hand of God raised him. So when the anointing of God, God comes upon you, he raised you. This day, the Lord will raise you. Let's look at our, our text, which is the, from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 to 13. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11 to 13. And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all thy children, and he said, There remaineth the yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for he will not sit down, for we will not sit down till he come hither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and whether of a beautiful countenance. And goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon, upon David from that day forward. So Samuel raised up and went to Ramah. 
Our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 19, verse 16. 1 Kings, chapter 19, verse 16. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shall thou anoint to be the king over Israel. And Elijah, the son of Saphat, of Abel Malhala, shall thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. Anointing makes the difference. The oil is not the anointing. It is a seal of the anointing. It is what is in the, the oil that makes the oil the anointing oil. It is just ordinary olive, good to eat vegetable and salad. But when the presence of God comes into it, he transforms to become a supernatural man, to be an extraordinary man, to begin to do the things that God has ordained. When the presence of God rests upon a man, that man now receives the ability and capacity of God. So that is what the anointing is. You need the anointing. Are you in any area of your life? Are you in ministry? Are you in business? Are you in your marriage? In every area of life, you need the anointing to fulfill your purpose. Let's look at what the open heaven says from our father in law, Pastor Yade Boy. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7, we see how God can transform an ordinary person through his anointing. There is power in the anointing, and it comes by the Spirit of God. Anointing can turn an ordinary person to an extraordinary one. Just like David in the Bible reading of today. However, before the anointing can come on you, you must possess certain qualities. God will have seen that you can make good use of power before he entrusts you with it. Jesus was sure that the earliest disciples would make good use of the Holy Spirit, and that was why he fulfilled his promise. As you see in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, and you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. You need the anointing. But before the anointing can come upon you, you must desire it. Your expectation determines your manifestation. If you have expectation, then you will be able to ask from the law that God, I need it. You, every man, the, 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 somebody said, every object has come to a position of rest until an extra force is applied. Every one of us will remain ordinary, but we must perceive the need to move higher, to do extraordinary. What is ahead of you must be beyond your ability. What is facing you, you must see the giant. The, 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 by reason of the assignment that ahead of you, the ministry is so big now, you know you can't do no sense. You, you must see the things that are ahead of you that you know that they, I can't do this. Then you come to him, Jesus, I can't do it alone. I need your help. Then you look unto heaven. And as you look unto heaven, <laughs> ask God, I need the anointing. So there must be the need for the anointing. And you must have an expectation. So the expectation in the heart of the children, of, of the disciples of Jesus Christ, just, they knew that Christ has gone away from them. So they knew that they needed extra power. So Christ told them, don't leave Jerusalem until you are in deal with power. So you, wherever you are, stay there and look unto heaven. Desire the anointing. And when God see the gap, your expectation, then he give you the anointing so that you can go and manifest. And when you manifest, you are not manifesting your name. You are going out as an extension of his hand. You are going out as his representative. So when you go out there, you begin to command signs and wonders in his name, not in your name. So the anointing makes the difference. But before God can give it to you, say it again, God must see that you desire it and that you are able to use it, not like salmon, for your own personal profit. Beloved, you cannot do any spiritual work without the anointing. Some people think ordination is done merely to confer titles on people. Whereas the primary reason is for an important 
it's an impartation of the anointing that destroys yokes. First, in the life of one, of one being ordained, and secondly, to equip him or her for spiritual assignment. This is why all categories of workers in the redeemed Christian Church of God are always prepared for ordination according to their level of assignment. Whether the minister from the pulpit or not one of my sons explain it this way. When an engineer works in a secular organization, he does not need anointing. However, once he or she is engaged to serve in the church, there is a need for the anointing. Why? This is because the devil knows he now works to pull down his kingdom through the medium of the church. Thus, every worker of the church needs to be born again, sanctified, spiritual, and anointed. If not, such a fellow will end up like Judas Iscariot. Just as we see in our memory verse today, both the king and the prophet needed the anointing to function in their respective callings. The anointing will empower you to become an unstoppable and indestructible vessel of honor in the household of faith. Press for the anointing. The anointing comes by ordination. That's not the only way. When God calls a man, he gives unto that man the, the grace, the enablement, the empowerment, the anointing that he needs to perform that office. The day God calls you to ministry, he pour upon you his power. I know this because on the 27th day of July 1997, God called me to ministry. I was on the altar leading the prayer department. We are closing the prayer. Said, and because God has been speaking to me, I'm calling you to ministry. And you are running. And I said, God, give me a sign. I didn't. What I asked for that, and in my life, I would never ask for a sign again. Because that day as we finished the prayer, was if they put my hands on high tension. I was vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. And it was as if it would tear me to pieces. So the anointing cannot come upon you, you will not know. <laughs> when it comes upon you, you will know. So people say, well, when the anointing comes, you will not know. What? That, you are not contacted him. You can't meet him and don't, don't know. You cannot contact the anointing without seeing a sign. There must be a proof that he has come. So the oil is not the anointing. It is the presence of God in the oil, I've said before, that makes the grace of God to walk upon you, and we call it the anointing. So in the redeemed Christian of God, we, we read there, when one is doing one assignment, it, we are ordained. They ordain people at different levels. As a deacon, as assistant pastor, as a full pastor, as it is in the Bible, that there is a ministry of evangelist, ministry of prophet, ministry of teacher, ministry of pastors, ministry of apostle. Whatever office he has called you to, he will give you the enablement, the grace, the anointing to fulfill that calling. So when the oil comes upon you, it is just a seal. From my own personal experience, when the oil is poured upon you, it's just to confirm your ordination into that ministry that God has called you into. So, you need the anointing. And if the anointing is the enablement of God, that means that you, every one of us, we need it. Why? Because the devil is out there waging war against us, setting trap against us. Strategy tragedy to bring us down. So as the man of God has said, once you begin to do one assignment in the church of God, the devil will mark you that one of, one of his targets. Because he knows that you are going to bring down his kingdom. And he, he wants to depopulate heaven so that his own kingdom can be populated. So whatever you are doing in the household of God, look for the anointing. You don't have it, seek for it. Fast for it. Wait on God for it. Because the Bible says, they, they, that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
Below the law, I see the law doing something in your life. If only you can wait on the law. But you know what? If you are not born again, there is no way. The oil will become a cause to you. The oil does not come upon the one that have not, whose heart has not been circumcised. So if you are not giving your life to Christ, you need to give your life to Christ. Oh, I've given my life to Christ. Have you been sanctified? Are you living holy? God desire your presence. So you are going to pray unto the Lord. Say, purge yourself of all sinful habit so you can be prepared unto every good works as a vessel unto honor. I pray for you this day as you desire the anointing. May the presence of the Lord come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that grace be released unto you for your definite turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. Your heaven is open. The angels of God shall entertain you. They shall minister unto you and your change shall be delivered. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Go into this day and use the anointing. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. God is waiting for your testimony. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.